Welcome to the world of building design. My name is Babak, your host. This is Revit MEP tutorial uh, number 11 and uh, for a sprinkler system design tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we would like to, we would like to demonstrate uh, uh, modeling some piping or some main riser pipe for the sprinkler piping and then uh, run it through the ceiling plan and show how we need to model that and uh, and then we continue with this tutorial in the future tutorial with the branch connection to the sprinkler heads as you remember from previous tutorial we placed a number of horizontal and vertical sprinkler heads we located some of the sprinkler heads in a number of the rooms and uh, as we can see, we have uh, a number of sprinkler head in here. And now I want to bring some, uh, basically, a main riser pi pipe uh, into this uh, model. So in order to do that, because I want to run a main uh, sprinkler pipe riser from underground and bring it into our space, um, I have to check the setting for our view range because um, the view range currently is set up so that it allows us to see the level, every level itself. But uh, because we are in the floor plan level one, as you know, we want to also see a pipe that runs under the level one. So the view range should be, you know, increased uh, for the purpose of seeing um, any element that we model beyond the, the level that we are in. So, as you know, for all the floor plan in this tutorial, we are using the um, sprinkler view template. So I'm gonna go into the, the sprinkler view template that I'm using, and then I'm gonna scroll down to get to view range. I'm gonna use the uh, some adjustment to this view range. I'm going to go into edit. And then when I have the button button here, so this is basically showing you the associated level or the floor or the bottom of the same level. So the offset is zero. Uh, I want to change this to unlimited. It means that the bottom is um, as long as uh, we have any model below this specific floor, we can see. We have a visibility to see that. And then the view depth is also goes to unlimited. We're going to change this to button and the view depth to unlimited. And then I'm going to go apply and then I'm going to say OK and then OK. So basically what we did, we changed or customized our view range in our sprinkler template. Uh, and that's going to be applied to all of our different levels. So regardless of which level we are, we can see uh, unlimited, uh, you know, um, unlimited in the below uh, or above um, on, on where we are in the floor plan. So right now I want to draft some pipe. So we go to system, as you remember, and I want to draft some pipe. So when I go onto the pipe, remember, um, there are different type of, uh, you know, piping type we could create. We haven't we haven't created anything else other than what we have here. Remember, we had the threaded pipe. We have welded schedule 40 uh, type pipe, which are kind of welding type of pipe system. But depending on your sprinkler system design, you have to uh, you know, make that specific type of family fitting and accessories and then use that type of piping into, into your sprinkler system design if you use a Victolic kind of uh, model or Victolic joint type, uh, which are mechanical type um, pipe connection. You can customize your pipe type to that type and use it. Or if you use a welding pipe. So depending on the type of pipe you use, you have to already build it, customize it, and then use it as one of the pipe type in this work. So. For the purpose of this training, I'm just going to use the pipe type welded schedule 40. So, uh, so we're not reviewing a lot about uh, you know the technicality and the material of the type of pipe we use. It's more of a, um, on the modeling side of uh, you know review and um, and uh, tutorial. So. 
Okay, so I want to first bring a very large pipe size, something around uh, say 12 inch or say 300 millimeter. And I want to run this in here from underneath the ground. So we're pretending that this pipe is uh, running from outside, coming into the building and runs across our uh, ceiling plan. So I'm going to pick a point here and then First, before I do anything, I want to adjust my middle elevation. Let's go with, say, minus 600 millimeter underground. And then I'm going to pick this point and then come straight. You see, I'm, I'm drawing a two pipe, uh, you know, two line pipe. I'm going to uh, turn that off. I don't need to, to show a two pipe. So I'm going to go to medium detail level to make it uh, a single pipe. So then I'm going to start again from this point and come down to here. Once I'm here, I'm going to go to, uh, say, I'm coming up, say, in about four feet up. So I'm going to use 1200 and then continue here. And then, as you can see, immediately I would see a rise in the pipe, this is a symbol for rise that we set up before. So it's basically the the same uh, standard symbol that that uh, Revit uses, and we we adopt it uh, regardless of the type of uh, design we are having. And from this point on, I want to come up to about say um, three meter above this level, uh, which is basically kind of ceiling. Um, plenum in this floor level. So I'm going to go to 3000 in here and then draw a line right straight to here. Okay. I want to reduce the size of my pipe, sprinkler pipe, to about say 8 inch or uh, I'm going to select 200 millimeter as a pipe size. And then I'm going to continue to here. And as soon as I do that, you see there is a symbol that is basically correspondence to the to the reducer that is shown in here. Basically, you're reducing the pipe size from 12 inch diameter to 8 inch diameter here. I'm continuing here. I want to drop again to a 5 inch or say 125 millimeter, and then continue all the way to the end of this, um, to the building, close to this door. So I'm going to see another uh, reducer. So basically we have a five inch pipe size here. Another thing I want to do is I want to right after, actually right before this drop from eight inch to five inch, I'm going to select on this piece of pipe, which is an eight inch pipe size. You can see that on the top as soon as you highlight it. Right click because I want to create a similar pipe. I'm going to create similar and I'm going to pick a point on this pipe somewhere around here and then come right straight along this wall, right straight here. Don't forget that the elevation, the size of pipe, everything is selected the same, the same way as, uh, as this, the property of this a straight pipe because we created similar, so everything is uh, selected similar. So I'm going to come here and then skip a couple of times. So I created some pipe here, and then uh, eventually we want to connect our sprinkler supply pipe to our sprinkler heads with uh, you know smaller size branches. So um, I'm going to go, so I'm going to go to a 3D model and I'm going to change this to, okay, fine is good. I'm going to change this to hidden line just to show you how our pipe looks like. So we have basically, um, you know, created the pipe on different size, on different elevation. And you see there is a T connection here and then a reducer right after that. I'm going to change this from the thick line to a, the, you know, narrow, T line so we can see how these pipes are drafted. 
and that's the entrance from the building um, I'm going to show you on a different elevation say we are on a different elevation on a single line pipe you can, you can simply change that to a fine which is a double line pipe so go back to 3D model I'm going to go on the, this little dot arrow and uh, we see we have started some main pipe riser uh, in here so that's that's very quick tutorial for this session uh, thank you very much for watching we continue on building on this uh, same um, uh, sprinkler piping design in the future tutorial please do not forget to subscribe in this uh, channel of the world of building design and by pressing on the uh, notification button you will see the other tutorial as soon as they are posted thank you